Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on graphs. There are many types of graphs that present data in an interesting and colourful format. Let's look at the pictograph or the picture graph. You can call it by either of those two names. This type of graph is colourful and uses symbols to represent a certain amount of the unit that is being presented. The following pictograph shows the number of cars entering a car park over a four day period. So the four days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and here are the number of cars. Now what does each symbol mean? Well from here each symbol represents 50 cars. So for example on Monday 50, 100, 150, 200. So on Monday we had 200 cars and so on. You can see for example the Tuesday was the most popular day. Dot plots. Each dot in the graph represents one item and there is one horizontal axis. All that means is there's a horizontal axis there. Now this graph represents the number of snakes in a zoo. And here we have the type of snakes on the horizontal axis. So for example as far as the black cobra, there are four of those in the zoo. The python, there are five of those, and so on. The column graph. The column graph is a very popular graph that uses columns, which are normally separated. So see how they are separated? So it's easy to distinguish between each column. So students were surveyed about their favourite fruits. So we have five fruits here that were mentioned and here we have the numbers. So you can see that bananas were the most popular and mangoes were the least popular. Here is the horizontal bar graph. The difference between the column graph is easy to see. The bars here are horizontal. So it's exactly the same principle. Here we have six different types of snacks and here are the number of votes. We can see that fruit is the most popular and crackers the least popular. The line graph. As the name suggests this graph is made up of a continuous line. So with this one for example we had a look at the number of people in a store at different times of the day. So here we have the different times and we, here we have the number of people. For example, at 10 a.m. we had two people, 11 a.m. five, 12 p.m. or midday, 10, etc. And then we join the lines up, the dots, sorry, we join each of the dots up and we end up with that line. And you can see that 1 p.m. was the most popular time in the store. The pie chart or pie graph. A pie graph is very useful because we can quickly see how the different sectors compare with each other. So a survey shows the favourite sports enjoyed by a class of students. Now you can see that the largest sector is soccer so that's the most popular. That was ahead of swimming because that was 27 percent so those two are very popular but soccer was just a little bit more popular. The least popular sport was gymnastics, of course that was only 11%, <coughs> and that was almost the same popularity as tennis. So this video shows a number of graphs that we can draw to represent data. We've seen how the graphs are very visual and some of them are very colourful, and it's quite easy to extract information from these graphs quite quickly because of their visual and colourful nature.